Wendy Williams, we have your first look at her revealing new biopic. Wendy Williams is not going anywhere. I am going to tell it like it is. It will floor you, you will laugh, you will cry, you'll be like, well, damn, Wendy. How you doing? Oh, Wendy's upcoming Lifetime movie and documentary both go there. Long before she made headlines for fainting on live TV, Wendy became infamous on the radio. You have had some moments that have become like pop iconic moments, interviews, like the Whitney, the Whitney thing. I gave it up. Did you go deep into it? You talk, yeah. you let, yeah. oh really? So Whitney, are you still using drugs? Is there drug use going on at this present time? Who are you talking to? To you, Whitney. January 30th, 2003, Wendy laid into Whitney Houston, who called into her radio show and became combative. No, you're not talking to me. I'm a mother. Don't ask me like I'm a child, because I'm not a child, Wendy. Those things are being addressed as well as things that she never knew about me. Wendy's always been open with E.T. And as an executive producer on the movie, which stars the oval actress Sierra Payton as Williams, Wendy doesn't shy away from the darkest moments in her life like a past drug battle. You're narcissistic. You got a coke habit. I lost um, over a decade of my life uh, being hooked on cocaine. Then there's her now ex-husband Kevin's frequent cheating, even while Wendy was pregnant. Infidelity does not always mean you throw it out, and right. sometimes it can strengthen relationships. He's having a baby with her. Last year, after discovering he was having a love child, Wendy divorced Kevin, who was at the time a staffer on her show. Let's get me legally and financially free from Kevin Hunter. Not you nor anyone else have the power to take away my gifts. I'm getting used to life as a single woman again. I was involved with him for over 25 years. I have options out the wazoo that I did not have back then. Mm -hmm. you know? and, and I have clarity like I've never had before. 